Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. And top of the evening, everybody, and welcome to Sports Final, where we are doing our best to weather an Adams County avalanche of basketball while flying solo tonight. Ross Green has a rare and well-deserved night off. Well, between the Rumble on the River, the QU Subway Holiday Classic, and home dates for Pace and Seymour, Menden Unity, and Q&D, there were 12 games alone tonight played in this little corner of the state. Talk about shooting fish in a barrel. We begin our odyssey tonight with one of the Tri-State's most intense rivalries. Irregardless of the sport, Illini West and Q&D share an indisputable disdain for one another. Tonight, that would play out as it usually does. John Hughes, not very happy, his team down 16 at the half. It's not going to get much prettier right here. It's super, super sub, I should say. Tony Stella right here. I'm not going to go into my on the waterfront uh, Brando right there, but a great take from him. But look at uh, Levi Kirby. Get away from Stella at the other end. And this, my friends, is an emphatic dunk. Good for Kirby. But that was about the lone highlight of the second half for Illini West as they were just absolutely... Well, they were run over in the second half of this game. It's Nick Dietrich with the three-point play the traditional way here, but he's not done. Nick Dietrich having a big night from the outside. Nick Dietrich for three, and that is shot put at home as well. Dietrich with a great night. Sam Douglas doing what he does, taking it hard to the rack, getting the bucket to go. Then it's Matt Doan from the wing spotting up for a jumper, and it was just an onslaught at this point. Alex Fitch would lead things tonight with 15 points. You're going to see him twice here. A couple of beautiful takes. This one is pretty going to the rack. This one is almost like a circus dribble as Alex Fitch is going to come up with a steal, go through two different defenders, and polish off a Q&D victory. Wasn't close in this one as the Raiders win 72-39 to was your final. Now, meanwhile, up the road in Payson Seymour, great matchup tonight between up-tempo teams, Payson Seymour and Palmyra, and this one was a dandy from start to finish. Much closer game, much more frenetic pace. Brian Manning not happy early, but his team did get off to a bit of a good start behind Brock Butler, who had back-to-back -back buckets to start his team off on the right foot. Also playing very well in this game, though, at the other end, Cody Hildebrand, and all he does is finish. Great take from him, going through contact, coming up with a three-point play, the bucket and the band-aid. Basil Keller trying to keep Palmyra alive in this game in the first half. However, we're going to get some separation from the Pace and Seymour Indians. Austin Kultis, the Lance Bulig. Bulig having himself a night tonight. Not only finishing there, but up and under right here for the easy bucket. Easy for me to say because I didn't have to shoot it between defenders. Great take for him. Then it's Payson Seymour running. Brian Ray's team loves to get out and run. Great passing right there. Unselfish basketball. Jake Voss right there hooking up with Cody Hildebrand who had 34 points on the night. Then it's going to be Voss getting his own opportunity eventually in this one off the stolen ball. Voss going to break away from everybody and finish nicely as well in this ball game. Big story in this one though, Cody Hildebrand who had himself 34 points in the night including an NBA distance three as Payson Seymour holds court. They're still unbeaten on the home court tonight. 85-77 was your final there. The Canton Tigers made the road trip tonight to Menden Unity. Good showdown between cross river rivals yet again in this one. David McReynolds, boy, he was on fire in this game. Cleaning up the miss right here by Gabe McKenzie. Look at McReynolds. Not a big guy, but he certainly imposed his will there in the low offensive blocks. Meanwhile, Unity off to a good start as well. Lane Davis, the big fella, making some things happen. Then it's Dylan Schaefer making some things happen as well. Going to spot up, find his comfort zone from three-point range, and drill one. Just buried it absolutely dead center in the middle of the net. David McReynolds, though, had answers. What a scorching start for this young man tonight. Finished with a team-high 18 points. He was seemingly everywhere. Beautiful spinorama move. Great pass right there by Tyler Neiman, by the way, threading the needle as if he were Brett Favre in his prime right there. More from McReynolds. Pull-up jumper. That's good. The bank shot. Everything falling for McReynolds early. Unity, though, keeping pace. More Lane Davis. Great pass right there from Mr. Doyle to Mr. Davis. And then more Dylan Schaefer. Story in this game, though, was too much Canton as the Canton Tigers stay undefeated. Brandon Bearhorse going to polish this off. 70 to 57 was your final on the night. Elsewhere in boys action, we'll give you some Illinois scores. Pittsfield gets two free throws late from Kennedy Cattleman to polish off Grigsville Perry. 43 to 41 was your final there. West Prairie, big night from Dalton Dieter in beating Bushnell Prairie City Avon. Rushville Industry with a win of the night over Lewiston tonight. Good for Mark Dar and company. Great victory for those guys. Brown County knocked off by 10 tonight by Greenfield. And Bigsville, no match for West Hancock. Paxton Harmon, who else? 
24 points in the victory. At the Rumble on the River tonight, Southeastern taking on Brussels. Todd Fox's team was in seek and destroy mode from start to finish in this ball game. This was an impressive bit of basketball and an impressively lopsided win tonight. Shea Lesner away from everybody, kind of pulling away from contact, getting the awkward spin move to go right there. Then Justin Hainline from the outside, knocking down the three. Hainline had a pretty good night. He was also good running away from everybody. Brussels powerless to stop the Mighty Suns tonight as they run away with this thing. Final count in this one sees the Suns victorious 55 to 18. Later in the night, it was Central taking on, well, it would take it on Southern Fulton in this one. And Marcus Landis get himself a start in this ball game. Going to come up big in the low blocks and kind of set the tone for his team as Central would go to work. Very lunch pail, blue collar type effort from the Panthers tonight. How about some defense right here? Eventually, it is the football star, Douglas Weiss, breaking away from everybody. Oh, pretty finger roll right there that he somehow gets to go. Jacob Eilers going to work real strong in the low blocks as well. Missed once, but cleaned up his own mess as Central gets a win tonight. They knock off South Fulton to the Panthers by the final count of 56 to 28. Other scores to pass along on the boys' side of things tonight. We'll start you off in Missouri. Mark Twain, a big night from Ethan Mr. Anderson, who had 25 points in the 52-41 victory tonight. North Shelby, no match for Knox County as Lee Tag, Royce Poor, bounce back. Royce Poor bad yesterday with a flu, bounces back nicely today. 32 combined points between those guys. Van Farr, a hard luck loser to Montgomery County tonight. Clopton loses by 10 to R6. Also, in Iowa tonight, it was Cardinal of Eldon getting smoked by Holy Trinity. Mitch Moeller coming back strong from the broken arm, had 25 points tonight. Van Buren knocks off Central Lee 45 to 41 and another big win for Fort Madison. Keep an eye on these guys. Jonathan Temenek with 16 as the Hounds beat Washington 67 to 30. Girls action today from the Rumble on the River. It's the Shea O'Brien show as Pittsfield Pleasant Hill takes on Atlanta right from the opening kit tip in this one. Shea O'Brien was really, really good. In fact, the opening tip somehow ended up in her hands and she's going to score it at the other end. Easy peasy, just like that. Good stuff from her. Katie Klatt also had herself a really nice game today. Love Katie Klatt. She's just a scrapper. Great take in the lane amongst the tall timber there. Then off the Brittany Miller miss right here. It is Addie Lagerman with the, yes, the putback. It's a 10-0 run to start. More to come in this one. Shay O'Brien misses just before the end of the first quarter. Jaylee Clements with the rebound. And there's Katie Klatt again to clean things up. Great stuff from her. Great night for Pittsfield Pleasant Hill as they win 46-29 and uh, destroy Atlanta in the process. Meanwhile, we've got more for you tonight on the girls' side. Palmyra down to Liberty Payson by nine in the third quarter. Time to wake up to Katie Hinkle, and she was good. She was, in fact, the Katie Hinkle tonight. She was so good. Three there. How about the larceny and the layup here? And the take, big answer right there. Palmyra gets right back into this game. Lanessa Graham trying to keep the Palmyra Lady Panthers at bay with a long three here tonight. But Palmyra, too many weapons. Great run in this ballgame. Alec Dietrich with a three. And then how about Healy Nix with the great steal? Chris Parsons all fired up. He should be. His team with a great comeback win tonight on the road in tough environs over a really good Liberty Payson team. Final in this one sees Palmyra 51 to 43. Girl scores to pass along to you now. We have got for you at the Rumble on the River going on as we speak. After three quarters, West Hancock is leading Quincy High 35 to 26. Canton filled by Unity tonight. Central Southeastern tonight, a one point loser to Western. Mark Twain loses to Paris 43 to 28. Louisiana over Brookfield 50 to 24. Also on the docket tonight, we can tell you the Central League girls in overtime were winners over Van Buren 51 to 48, rallying from a 16 point deficit in the third quarter in that one. Wrestling tonight, Quincy Notre Dame, a loser to Quincy High School. Quincy High School and Pittsfield also wrestled tonight. Don't know how that went down, but I do know that Dakota Downs one-on-one -on -one beat Zach Abney, and that is a huge match. Also, Hannibal beats Moberly. It's a tie score, but Hannibal wins the tie break 39 all. Finally, college basketball tonight. Ugly, ugly night in the QU Subway holiday tip-off tonight as Marty Bell's team just gets absolutely annihilated tonight by Truman State. Final count in this one was ugly late. Final score was uh, like a 20-point loss as we pop up that final for you. Quincy University loses by 26 tonight. Not much to see there to Truman State. 76 to 50 was your final in that ball game. Also in college basketball tonight. Earlier in the night, Northeastern State beats up on Ohio Valley, 96 to 53, and Western a big-time winner tonight as well. Congratulations to the Western Leathernecks. And that's all the time we've got. We'll see you tomorrow for more sports.